Turn, turn on the radio, will you? It's time for Ray Flowers. No, not the sarcastic little woman. What's what? wrong with the sarcastic little women? A lot of things. <laughs> Where do you want me to start? Funny. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to start a new epic journey. We're watching a miniseries. An epic journey. From Stephen King, The Stand. Okay. Now, there's two versions of this. Okay. There's the 1994 miniseries and then the 2020 miniseries. But we are going to watch the 1994 Emmy Award winning adaptation of Stephen King's The Stand. If the first one was so good, why'd they remake it in 2020? It's one of Stephen King's most popular novels. And... Never heard of it. A lot of people want to see it perfected on the screen. But we're watching the Emmy Award winning version. Yeah, a lot of people... I've never seen it. I haven't seen both versions, but we have both on Blu-ray, of course. Uh, as with every book adaptation, there's things that are cut out for time, right? Sure. And so four episodes of this series wasn't... I mean, it's an epic. They got to cut some... Some of the fat. Okay. So there's always people that are like, I wish this was in it. They need to remake it to add that kind of thing. So I'm not sure about spe specifics. You're talking a lot. You asked. I know. I shouldn't have asked. My my fault. Yeah. Well, should we just jump in and shut me up? God, yes. Well, let's do it. But first, I'll like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for Stephen King's adaptation. The Stand. The Stand. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls helps pick what we watch next. The link is down below. Check it out. What's up? Twitter and Instagram. So if you like social media, you can follow us at You Me the Movies. Yeah. Let's watch the stand. Perfect. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. T.S. Eliot. Set to keep people in or out. Government reservation. Absolutely no trespassing. Lovely. <laughs> Big ol' raven. That barbed wire fence didn't go very far. See the title of this episode? No, what it what was it? The plague. Oh great. Been there. Done that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Haven't we all? <laughs> Feels like a sci fi channel. This is CBS actually. Really? Seal the base, Campion. If the main gate's still open, shut it. Yes, sir. Where the hell's he going? We gotta get out of here. What's going on? You know what? Get the baby stuff. Let's go. Should have closed the damn gate before he ran there. Yeah. Let's go. That looks like a Chevy Citation. Your first car? Yes, sir. -y. He's probably used to citations being a military cop. Good one. Oh. That's why he didn't close the gate. Gotcha. I was wondering which side was in, which side was out. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm speeding. I'm for assuming sure. he didn't drive in, so we also didn't ensure that gate got closed. Big mistake. Huge. That probably doesn't really matter if the gate's closed or not. If it's a plague that spreads and people get loose. Oh. Wow, very quick killing plague, huh? Unless they turn into zombies. Great song. We can be like they are. Molly Ringwald. And Gary Sinise. Oh. 
go. She's gonna turn into a zombie. Rob Blow. Romeo and Juliet are together in eternity. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, so Stephen King actually wrote the script for the, the show. Mm-hmm. Arnett, Texas, June 17th. Well, I gotta feed your daughter, don't I? <laughs> Uh-oh. He got it. He he's got, got infected. He's got it. Shut up the pumps. Hey! Fast thinking. Lieutenant Dan's got legs. You should really leave the talking to me. Oh yeah, he's got it. Damn, Stu. Don't touch him. He's uh. got California plates here, man. Got some bad chow with a roadside stand or something. Bad chow. That's probably it. I was, I was looking through the rearview mirror and I'd see him just sitting there grinning at me. Maybe you should fear the Reaper, huh? So Lieutenant Dan got it now? Oh yeah. Definitely. Blue Base, Baja, California, June 18th. General Starkey, sir. Close the door and drop the bow in. Mm. Yes, sir. Ed O'Neill. Wait. I think that's right, isn't it? I'd like to get that guy Listen, string General, him up We found him. We located Campion. He's on the outskirts of a one-stoplight town in East Texas. He made it halfway across the country. How do you do that? I don't know. Citation. Yeah. It's a great car. I think it's Ed Harris. Ed Harris, yeah. What kind of car would you come up with? Anthrax. New strain. <laughs> yeah, it's a new one, all right. It's real new. It's very good at its job, too. Too good. Um, lab manufactured virus, huh? Uh -oh. Sounds very Fast acting flu buddy available at pharmacies everywhere. Flu buddy. Do we got flu buddy? No. I better get one. Hey, Joe Bob. Want me to fill her up for you? No, sir. I come by on other business. It's Joe Bob Briggs. For real? Yeah. Hey. Y'all take care of that old timer. Them summer coals are the worst. Huh. I guess his name is actually Joe Bob in this show, too. <laughs> oh, it's probably just the sniffles, that's all. It's got one hell of an incubation period. Real quick. Five-hour incubation period. Please advise if you've been anywhere near our net today. Bye. <coughs> oh, he's got oh, it. a two-minute incubation period. I've been over by the Arkansas state line all day. Well, that's fun, then. That was a lie. Did they hear him cough? Doubt it. Wait, is the crow the dark man? I don't know, maybe. I wonder how long it took... How many takes to drive yeah, over that ball? Right. <laughs> All right, roll the convoy. Okay, throw the ball. Ah, shit, we missed again. All right, reset. Take 473. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That crow probably is a dark man. Except for it's a bird, not a man. Stuart Richard Redmond, sir. He was at the station. He's already dead. Sounds like you're having a busy day. Dr. Herbert Denninger, Mr. Redmond, will you come with us? Hey. He's going to be immune. You think so? Perhaps. Yeah. 
they're going to have to use his blood to create some sort of serum to counteract the virus. If we got what that guy Campion had, we're dead already. Right? His mask is not fit tested very well. Just saying. So you got a new mask now? Yeah, he does. Oh no, it's a different guy. Is it cholera? Absolutely not. You'll be getting all the details. When? No, I think it's the same guy. You'll be dead. I love this song. Never heard of it. Queens, New York, June 19th. Dig your man. He is the artist. Carrie Underwood's dad. <laughs> she looks like an Alice, doesn't she? I borrowed a little money. Not from any bank. He wouldn't be here, right? He borrowed it from Tony. Definitely. About 40,000. Jesus wept. The shortest Bible verse in the Bible. I have to go to work. I'm going to be late as it is. All right. Thanks. I don't think she digs your man. Nah, she ain't. She's not going to dig in, dig in that man. Uh -huh. Vermont Disease Control High Security Center. Is that possible? I don't know. He's the one percent. We're going to find out. We have to find out. Does he still have it though? He's just not. Like, is he still a carrier? You think? Hard to say. Either an asymptomatic carrier or immune. Yeah. Look, Daddy, we know a published writer. How about that? She's still playing a teenager. Looks like it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the poem I and the rest of the magazine, of course. Listen, Harold, why don't you stay and have some iced tea or something? No thanks. I'm actually in sort of a hurry. He has more poems to write. <laughs> that was a weird way to say poem. <laughs> you know, Jess, I'm not a fight. I haven't seen much of him this summer. Actually, Jess and I have decided to spend some time apart. It's, uh, it's like that, isn't it? It's like that and like this and like that and uh <laughs> Then you tell me to be quiet. Same. <coughs> okay. Is it already in Maine? How to get there. And how are you today, Mr. Redman? Well, we're just gonna do a few routine tests if I could. She looks a little sus. <laughs> you tell me why I'm not sick. Mr. Redmond, I, I hardly think Talk to me, damn it! I, I'm sorry, but you <gasps> Go on, get out. Well, they're afraid of him being contagious, so. Why don't yeah, why don't you just tell him that you need to do more tests on him to see if He's carrying. Yeah, they can't isolate whatever he's got in him to help his friends, even though they're all dead. He's gotta be closer to Texas, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, friend, you're gonna pay attention, I guarantee it. Uh, hold him, hold him, hold the sucker! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna mess him up. Stop it, Ray, you killing it! Right car! No! Hit that sucker! Close one. Almost got basketballed. I mean, his head. I can hear! I can talk! Could he not do that before? I don't think so. It didn't seem like you heard them on the road. But folks around these parts just call me Mother Abigail. You come see me, Nick. You and all your friends. 
His door! Great. Was that the dark man that one guy was talking about? Mm, I'm guessing. I don't know about all those people down in Texas. You better let me take a listen. Forget that. Oh, come on. You know how hot it makes me when you take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> it means that he's deaf and dumb. Yeah. 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 That hurt? If you're deaf and dumb, how the hell am I going to find out what happened to you tonight? He's just deaf and mute. He's not, not dumb. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> the sheriff here married Ray's baby sister. He married the baby sister? That guy looks pretty young. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many different ways I can say this. This so-called super flu does not exist. He's wearing a lot of makeup in that scene. <laughs> But Geraldo has been breathing your air via convector for the last three days. So he didn't contract the virus. What about the folks I came in with? All dead. Which is why we can't afford... Turns out when you tell people that their friends are dead, you should be a little bit more caring about it. Yeah. He has horrible bedside manner. Yeah. All you have to do is resign yourself to a few more pokes and pricks. Plenty of pricks to go around. Deets, calm down. I was just faking. You stupid son of a bitch. Boy, he's really not going to work with you now. Well, if it's as contagious as those general says, it won't be long until they got it. Sounds to me like you might just be king of the world. What's it sound like to you? Victory! What's it sound like to you? Victory! <laughs> are filling up with sick people and some of them are dying what people are dying of the flu suddenly la is a really creepy place to be larry what's well, new <laughs> <laughs> have you been there lately <laughs> yeah yeah you got it bye <laughs> victory is he just hanging out in an arcade it's like it sorry. i'm sorry man the rat man forgive you this time you see the rat man yeah He's doing a pretty good job making his face look kind of ratty. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Kareem! <laughs> He's coming for you, Larry. The man with no face. I thought he was saying, bring out your dick. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> Why is Kareem Abdul Jabbar screaming, well, bring out your dick? Bring out your dick. <laughs> they don't call him Kareem for nothing. When I was little, I thought this song said Shot Glass Man. A shot glass man? <laughs> the girl's like a guy that takes shots. <laughs> All right! Hold still and won't nobody get hurt. <laughs> Jesus. Look out, Paul! Well, that escalated quickly. Quick response. Who's he? What's he doing there? Oh, it is the Raven. A shapeshifter. Can you imagine if we actually saw somebody sitting on top of the power <laughs> lines? Yeah, <it> freak me <laughs> out. <laughs> Any means necessary. What video is he looking at now? That looks like from the base. Does he have a pill that... Where is... <laughs> Shot the driver? <laughs> Oops. Things are escalating quickly. It's the Wild West out here. I think that beast might be on his way, Len. 
I think the way they're all dressed is like they haven't left the base since this right. happened. He doesn't. Look, they neither of them look like they've slept. Yeah. Well, I guess he's kind of older. You're mine, sucker. Sorry, <laughs> guy. I can't. Sick. He's got a badge on. <laughs> they deputized him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's his deal? Probably doesn't like how good looking Rob Lowe is. <laughs> well, he is sick. The big guy doesn't seem sick, though. If he lets you out, are you going to mess with him? No. I swear. <laughs> Do you trust him? Not at all. This is clearly a liar. <laughs> so he must be immune too, huh? Yep. I would say Molly Ringwald it probably is also. Then saving it up, you might say. <sighs> Things have changed, Ray. You might do well to remember that. Might see me again, Mutie. <laughs> Hopefully not if he's coughing. Maybe he is sick. He's got spit right in the face of a dickhead. So, what do you say? Wanna come up country with me? He needs to get to Nebraska. Huh? I this guess. guy's going to be immune, too. This is a weird. Uh, I was just about to say, I don't think his mom's going to be okay. These guys flew, buddy. I think those are miniature cars. Yeah. <laughs> Anarchy. Times Square. There goes Ed Harris. Uh-huh. It's been like a week. Mm, Doc didn't make it very far. Somebody shot him. This guy's still alive. You're gonna be in hell for 30 seconds before you even know you're dead. (laughs) Nick's probably feeling bad because he let that guy out and then he killed the doctor, right? Mm Hmm. Oh, gun quit. Is that, is that how you pronounce that? Sure. Oh, hey, st- turn on the radio, will you? It's time for Ray Flowers. No, oh, not the sarcastic little woman. What's wrong with the sarcastic little women? A lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want me to start? Funny. You can call it the super flu, or by its West Coast name, Captain Trips, but it means the same thing either way. Kathy Bates is a sarcastic little woman. Yeah. I'll take it. That roll suits her. Yeah. Oh, they're going after her? Oh, yeah. She's about to go off air. Folks, I've just been ordered by my uninvited fascist guest to shut down, and I've refused. Right, I think. <gasps> oh my god, what's happening? Daddy, what's happening? They couldn't pay Kathy Bates much for this show. That's what's happening. <laughs> this would have been right after she won for Misery, right? Yeah. I thought that was in the 80s. This was in the 90s. I think it was early 90s for that. 
That's the dark man, right? Mm-hmm. Darkman has got a mullet. How do they do that effect with his eyes? She's gonna invite them all to her house. In Missouri. Nebraska. Nebraska. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Got sick anyways. Oh, I'm curious. How would you explain it, Stu? The guinea pig die? Yep. Poor guinea pig. Let's see. Do you? I think I do. I'm yeah, holding that gun really weird. <laughs> I've decided a piece of chicken fried crap like you doesn't deserve to live. Not what do you ever do wrong? Yes. Uh. Nice distraction. <laughs> I grab that gun. Can I leave the weapon? Mm, looks like it. Guess not. That scared me. This time the sound effect on that third shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's their editor? I can fix it in post. <laughs> That's the funny thing is that sound effect was added in post right. and they mistimed it. I'd find some shoes and hit the vending machine and grab a backpack. All right? Mm. Ah! A little jumpy. Come down and eat chicken with me, beautiful. It's so dark. That was a weird phrase. Come down and eat chicken with me, beautiful. It's so dark. He's going to walk there barefoot the whole way? Maybe. All right. Well, that's just an abrupt ending, isn't it? Yeah. That's the first episode of The Stand. Right. The plague. Yeah. And boy, was it. Boy, yeah. Drew some uh, familiarity. Yeah. I'm starting to think maybe the, that's why the 2020 version didn't do so hot. Was it 2020? Yeah. Bad timing. Yeah. Not ideal timing. <laughs> All right. Well, what's on your mind after that? Yeah, it's interesting. It's like outbreak. What's this dark man, though? I don't know, that's an interesting aspect, very Stephen King-like, to yeah. include some sort of paranormal paranormal happening with non-paranormal happening. It's the end of days. Yeah. yeah. That's what it seems like. All right. Well, who's your favorite character so far? Gary Sinise. Gary Sinise? Sure. Not Rob Lowe? Him, too. Okay. All of the ones alive. All the ones alive? Shocking. Well, you didn't like uh, Kathy Bates? No, I did. But Ray she, Flowers. Just she, long. she had like a five minute seat. Yeah. Probably was like, I like Stephen King. I'll come do the seat for you. So it's probably like two minutes, yeah. maybe. So yeah, there was uh, Ed Harris and Kathy Bates in this. Mm -hmm. Two pretty amazing performers, and they were just in there for just a minute. short amount of time. Just a minute. So they weren't even on like the cast list for oh, that's on the funny. box. So it's yeah, they weren't. But yeah, we got Molly Ringwald, Rob Lowe, and Gary Sinise as the known and people. And this. Uh, and then the rock star. Dig, digging me on it. What is it? Dig your man. Dig your man. Yeah. 
Larry Underwood? Yeah, Larry Underwood. There you go. All right. So I think they're all going to meet up at uh, Abigail's? I would say. Mother Abigail's? That's where it's leading. So wh- what's going to happen? What's What are you thinking? Because, I mean, sure. it seems at this point they've... The plague has killed everybody that's not immune. Yeah. I think is what they're hinting at, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll have to, like, join forces to defeat this dark man. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm not sure. Who can fly around? Looks like he teleported to Kareem. Yeah, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was... See, he was okay, too. So. I, don't know. I don't know if he was okay after that teleporting lightning Yeah, that's bolt, true. I don't know. Maybe the last time we see Maybe the... he, like, took over Kareem's body or something. You think so? Well, I'm start ringing the bell and shooting. Hook in the shots. '90s, yeah, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar would be less suspect than the guy with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Kareem. Let's go play basketball <laughs> with him, right? No, I don't think he's played Kareem. So, what else is on your mind? Anything else? Not really. Hmm? Be interesting to see where it goes. Which people comment? Who's your favorite character after the first episode of The Stand? Mm-hmm. All right. Without going into spoilers, because I assume most of you have seen this, right? For sure. But just after the first episode. Yeah. We'll probably meet. Do you think we'll meet anybody new? Maybe. Or would we, did we get the whole main cast here? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there's more out there, but yeah. I imagine these will be the, the main characters. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, anything else? Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for the stay in episode one. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Links down below, check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. I do not want to cut in on you here. I'm not trying to take your little woman. <laughs> it's good to read in that situation. <laughs> it's the Glenn you got to worry about. <laughs> He's the ladies' man, clearly. <laughs>
Oh, that body should be going thunk, thunk, thunk. <laughs> Here you go. It's a little warm, but it's not too bad. That's okay. I like warm lemonade. Life gives you warm lemonade, you... Drink it. <laughs> <laughs> to both be immune to something this big, it's like winning the Mega Bucks lottery. Imagine your genetic chain. You're saying they're related? No. Oh, okay. There's a government communicable disease center there. If anyone's still alive and trying to find a cure for the flu, that's where they'd be. Immune cases as well. Harold? Roads are jammed. Can you ride a motorcycle? Crispin. What's his name? Crispin Glover. Crispin Glover. Like, he had to have been this guy's inspiration, right? I think so? Yeah. George McFly. Doesn't it scream George McFly to you? Yeah. yeah. You're my density. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe I could be... Harold, we're always going to be friends. Ouch. <laughs> Could have been the, the zone. Runs on batteries. I thought maybe it would cheer me up. Record player. Good tunes. Hey now, hey now. He's going to write so many poems about this night. I always wanted a record player, like, plays on a battery, you know, like yeah. that. Ugh, I just love that idea. One thing I've heard about this series is it's got an awesome soundtrack. Yeah, I, I think already we've seen how great the music is. It's no dig your man, that's for sure, though. Good one. Is anybody here? June 30th. My mom's birthday. Huh. Oh, got the horse, too. I mean, at least they're not turning into zombies. Yet. Oh, Kareem. I miss his hookshot. Is anybody there? Pretty woman. I can smell your perfume. <laughs> I'm glad to see you too. <laughs> I've seen this guy before. In Times Square, just before everything went to hell. Screaming about monsters. Kareem is doing a great job of holding incredibly <laughs> still. Is it actually him or a wax uh, doll that looks like him? I don't know. <laughs> at this point. Maybe that's why they hired him. He holds really still. Yeah. They've seen him post up. Like, he can do it. You have any idea what it's going to smell like in two weeks? Five million people rotting in the July sun. Yeah, he's not wrong. How's it smell already, though? It will be inescapable. Good. When? Jesus. Why did that scare me? I keep waiting for zombies. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> keep waiting for zombies. You haven't had dreams like that. Oh gosh. She's the devil's lady, huh? She's had different kinds of dreams. Um, we should we should get out of the screen. Yeah, she's taken. She belongs to the the devil. The dark man. The dark man, thank you. Oh, that would suck. You'd definitely not be able to escape the smell in there. You have to. Oh, what's his name? Shut up that convenience store. Yep. Desperate times. Oh, I don't think you'll want to hang on to that. It will not be edible. Yeah. Think you taught that right to do tricks? No. Oh. It didn't look like a circus a circus rat. Houghtonville Hills, Indiana. Oh, 
your man. Dig your man. It's a catchy tune. See the neighbor in um, Honey Ash Aren't the Kids? Yeah, I think so. He's fast. He likes to run, huh? Can't tease me. Not anymore. Who's his conscience? The dark man. <laughs> Filling up a water tank. Oh, oh god. I think it's oil. Oh, oil. Good old cherry oil. I didn't know they made oil out of cherries. Cherry. Oh, cheery. Okay. That makes sense. My life for you. Alright, so the Dark Man's got at least two playing on his team right now. I think so. Heading for home, Nebraska. Is that the Dark Man? Or just another crow? Those crows did the trick. Why don't they taste nasty? Gotta stay regular. Feel them coming in my direction. Some of them will be going on to him, won't they? Think she's got the shine? Probably. Or the children of America into Colorado. Colorado. What's color? What's in Colorado? <laughs> Get the Henslow spirit. Turn them away if they come, mother. Take my advice. Turn them away. Oh, I'll send Your blood is in my fists, bed. mother. Vision from my sight. Blood is in my hands. Her fist. Don't know. The power of the mullet. Okay, so now he's got three. What's the significance of that stone? Onyx or black tourmaline or something. Obsidian? Obsidian's usually a little shinier. Yeah. Just look like polished black. Obsidian's more glassy. Where are you going? Going to the George Washington Bridge by myself. They really splitting up? Doubt it. If it has to be the bridge, that's fine. Just don't do it alone. Then follow her. Off he goes. I'm going in now. I would have went over a bridge rather than a dark tunnel. Right? Yeah. Yeah. At least you can see what is in store for you on a bridge. Honestly, I'd be hoofing it. Right? <laughs> Get through that tunnel as fast as possible. Yeah. How long is the Lincoln Tunnel? No idea. It's pretty long, I bet. Don't stop and look at everyone. Just go. Ooh. Don't look at them, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Larry. <gasps> Just go. Goodness. This guy's the worst. Oh, time to get out the glow stick. Yeah, turn the headlights on, right? Who's there? God, just start running, you dummy. Oh, 
Hopefully she's got a flashlight. Are you still mad at me about the pills? No, no, no. Because I won't take the pills, Larry. It's okay. She probably, like, desperately needs them. Like, they're probably antipsychotic medication or something like that. Yeah. She's going to run out eventually anyways. It's the end of the world. There's pharmacies all over. And nobody watching them. Did they get through? No, they're still stuck in the tunnel, clearly. I thought maybe they went back. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Attleboro, Massachusetts, July 1st. Baby, can you dig your man? I don't think you're singing that just right. <laughs> Take it easy. Should have maybe said something a ways back <laughs> to not scare the <laughs> out of somebody. Pipersville, Pennsylvania, July 2nd. They made it to Pennsylvania in a day? Two days? No, no, I just... You can. Sure you can. You can do anything. Just gotta dig your man. I want you. Just go jack it outside the tent. <laughs> Leave her be. I know you do. So what's the problem? She's promised herself to the devil. I just, um, I just need more time. She's only known you two days. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it does feel very Friday the 13th. I can handle Larry. He's just a boy. <laughs> Leave him. Leave him. You hate it when I do that voice. <laughs> Leave him. Yeah, it's not sexy. Oh. Apparently she found her pills and left them behind. By the time you read this, I'll be gone. If I stay, we'll end up sleeping together and I can't have that. The ultimate rejection letter. <laughs> I stay, we'll sleep together and I can't have that. <laughs> that would be the worst. <laughs> Just because it's the end of the world doesn't mean a woman should give up her standards. <laughs> Someone's having fun in that town. May, Oklahoma. Is it May or July? We missed you, <gasps> Jesus! Well, that was uncalled for. <laughs> you scared me, too. You're the first person I've seen in just about forever. Like four days. It's been a couple weeks. I thought a few decorations would cheer up Main Street. It's been awful sad with everyone gone. Do you like them? Thanks. Decoration <laughs> is my hobby. M O O N. That spells hobby. Moon? <laughs> I'm sorry, mister. I can't read. They're a match made in heaven, aren't they? <laughs> I'm sorry, mister, I don't get you. Does he sound familiar to you? Uh, he's from Coach. Yeah, he's from Coach. He's also Patrick Starr in Spongebob. Oh, didn't know. I've not really seen Spongebob. They're always talking about what a dull town this is since the roller rink went bust. And there's just the drive in theater out on Route 61, and all they show is them diddly daddly pictures, and they're all rated X. A rated X drive in? Nice. That's interesting. <laughs> Thought they were gonna like, Lloyd and Harriet <laughs> by a little Get a scooter. scooter. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what do I got to lose? <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet soul. Hey, mister, nice bike. Who's it for? He can't ride a bike. You want me to go with you? To Kansas City? 
See the old black lady? Yep. <laughs> okay, then. All right, I'm ready. Oh, he's oh, good to go. Yes. He's such a big guy to be riding a bike, <laughs> right? I better get some helmets. <laughs> M O O N spells everything if you put your mind to it. But why moon, right? Why? Why is that the word? The rats are his. <laughs> Gary's niece is not a fan of rats. Get me away from those things. Oh no. This feels like Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't like this dream sequence part. One, two, Freddy's coming for- Stay away from Maurice, Texas. Does the devil live in Texas? So I'm gonna go to Nebraska. I gotta find out what this means. You wanna come with me? Why not? Always assuming we can find a motorcycle with a sidecar. I'm not leaving Kojak. <laughs> Let's say she's real. Then what? Well, it's obvious she's some sort of magnet. It's gotta be real if you're all having the same dreams, right? Don't see a sidecar. Dang it. Could we fashion a sidecar out of something? That's what Kojak just said, too. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> he has the coolest jacket. Louder. Harold Louder. Louder. Oh, His chaps. Sweet chaps. <laughs> <laughs> They're assless. <laughs> hey, Toby. Nebraska. Vermont. He just came from Vermont. You don't want to go there. We've uh, been having the same dream. The dreams are an aberration. Everyone's having the same one. I don't like the looks of them. This one in particular. <laughs> I do not want to cut in on you here. I mean, that's the last thing in the world that I want. I'm not trying to take your little woman. <laughs> it's good at reading that situation. <laughs> it's the Glenn you gotta worry about. <laughs> He's the ladies' man, clearly. <laughs> here you go. Okay. Is Harold old enough to drink? I thought he was still like. 16 or something. It's the apocalypse. You can do it. Oh, okay. Backtracked into Vermont, huh? Well, they found a motorcycle with a sidecar. Yeah. A lot of motorcycles hanging around. <laughs> worms. <laughs> I don't think earthworms are, <laughs> are really the things that would be eating those people. That was an earthworm. I know, but I don't more likely see maggots, not earthworms yeah. eating on people. <laughs> then again, I don't know. And maybe maybe earthworms do that. I never should have eaten all them apples. Laws no. <laughs> Got a tummy ache. <laughs> don't worry, I ain't going nowhere. My legs feel funny. Find some Pepto? Yeah. Oh brute. Everyone's favorite scent. <laughs> Reminds me of my grandpa. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a live one. My God. Are you real? Yeah! Rob Lowe gets that a lot. <laughs> Good thing he just put on that brute. Are you a deaf mute? Is that funny? Oh, somebody finally shows up in this crappy town and it turns out to be a deaf mute. <laughs> what is she wearing? Whatever she wants. Ain't he a moose? That's, that, that's that his, his name, name and coach. coach yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, retard and a deaf mute. That's my look. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Is that a gun in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? Is she gonna steal your gun? I've been lonely. That would just not be the first thing on my mind. Find meeting somebody for the first time after being alone for a yeah. while. What would be the first thing on your mind? Take me with you, or like... <laughs> <laughs> he's just a retard. He doesn't feel things the way that you and I do. He can wait. Oh, uh, that's not true. <sighs> he's like, yeah, I think what? you can wait. <laughs> Nick's a good guy. Bros before hoes. That's right. You know what I know about that stuff? That's us poison. No, oh, sir. <gasps> oh, talk oh. I'm a bitch. Punch her in the face. <laughs> yeah, leave her. Leave her. <laughs> Just like a baby. What? Oh, fine, I'll read your crappy note. Uh, want. We don't want you either. It was just a joke, dummy. It was a joke. Not funny. It's always the crazy ones that survive the apocalypse. <laughs> I was wondering what his name was. I don't think he ever said it until then. Did he say his Tom name was Tom? Mm -mm. She scared me too. Let's get out of here for she comes back. I think she's a horrible shot. 50 miles west of Pratt. You know where Pratt is? No. Nebraska. Such bice glass. He's gonna eat so many bugs if he keeps his mouth open that way. It's all the June bug on the way here. I'm pretty full. What if it, it could be her? Oh! <laughs> you might be like us. Nice, like us. Nice or mean? Hopefully nice. Country folk. He's driving a Chevy. Yeah. He's definitely a nice guy. That's S10. You boys headed to Nebraska? My friend can't talk. Why are they driving in different directions? <laughs> They're headed to the same place. I'm Tom Cullen. M-O-O-N. That spells Tom Cullen. I don't know his name because I can't read it. Your friend's name here is Nick Andros. M-O-O-N. I guess that spells Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Andros, how you doing? <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Why don't you boys climb on in? We got some miles to turn before dark. Why are they going in the opposite directions if they're both going to Nebraska? They just not know where they are. He's from Oklahoma. Maybe he was just going someplace else and then... The mines look better. So what do you think happened here? I mean, you think it was lightning or... Uh... Start. Trash man. I'd say it was set. You think somebody deliberately burned Des Moines to the ground? All of Des Moines? <laughs> Hot summer day, nobody put him out. Pyromaniac. He's in Utah. Utah Badlands. Wow, he he covered some ground, didn't he? I don't think he was in Iowa. <laughs> oh, he was in Utah before. Well, I'm getting. Getting from Iowa to Utah in like a day? Well, he had, there's a bike back there, I think I saw. He looks very sunburned. <laughs> Sir, get a hat with a brim. He was in Arizona last time we saw him. I don't remember. I'd say he's just setting fire to... Maybe there's other people setting fires. Could be, I guess. Some of those men you sent me will help me out. <laughs> She's planning a party. 
<laughs> she got her timing right, didn't she? Thank you, my lord. What else they pick up? I don't know. We never made a single wrong turn. Nick here knew just how to come. Except for he was biking that way, and you were driving that way, and you picked him up and went back that way. Maybe so he was lost. Nick was the one going in the wrong direction. Did they kept on going the direction the pickup was going. Are you the oldest lady in the world? Shh, Gina, that's not polite. Probably the last one alive. <laughs> and it's our lot to deal with him. God don't explain his will to the likes of Abby Freeman. He says he don't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> Better start believing. But it don't matter. He believes in you. <laughs> That's humbling. Yeah. Oh, Radio Band 14. She can get to ride in that rocking chair in the back of the pickup, like <laughs> like Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> I think that seat is for her. <laughs> At least she's got her comfy chair to sit in. <laughs> they give her a seat belt on that thing. Does not look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on tight, honey. She's, I wonder if she's like ever left that home. What she's looking at? Probably oh. not. I love the Golden Goose. Las Vegas. You better not burn Vegas down. I feel like that would hurt. With those sunburns. Maybe not. Maybe you feel good. Until you get out. And then your skin dries out. Hey! Hey! Hey, you guys! What are we gonna do with him? Let him sleep. <sighs> Flag wants him. Where is Flag, anyway? Oh, no. You that anxious to see him, Barry? Of course, Las Vegas would be the devil's, like, headquarters. headquarters yeah. I'm not sure where Trash came in was when you blew that oil thing up. Because he went from Utah to Vegas, so. What is it, Gina? A parade! Come on up and look! Gosh, it is! Just on their way back from Sturgis. <laughs> well. A bunch of survivors now. Yeah. Help us to be true, dear Lord. Help us to stand. The stand. Oh, it's all coming together now. Yeah. The stand. All right, what do you think? Yeah. Met some new characters. Mm-hmm. It was a little slow to get yeah. going. Felt there. there at the end, we kind of had a a good accumulation of things yeah right it's coming coming all, all together met. with abigail mm -hmm. i like tom i do too yeah i think tom and nick are my favorite characters mine so far so they're a good uh duo yeah deaf and dumber <laughs> all right so how long until uh um Stu and molly ringwall show up they're Probably a little bit further up. yeah they're further away so i'll give it a few days and then what's his name underwood he's a little bit more west than them at this point because he started Iowa the last time we saw him. Yeah. So they got a trip to catch up to Mother Gail out. Mother Abigail, right? Looks like it. What's on your mind after those? That episode. Um, all I can really think of is like, man, if it were me, I would be like stocking up on seeds and looking for a place to start growing things because <laughs> I'd be worried about food yeah. for a long term. Especially with all those people showing up. Exactly. Yeah. Why, why do you think instead. they went to Boulder? I don't know. I don't know. It was because it's high in the mountains. Yeah. Boulder. There must be some sort of significance. 
I guess we'll find out later, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, Colorado is kind of, at this point, I guess Kansas City is kind of more central. But, I mean, it's kind of in the middle of America there. Not really, but... A little bit more west than... I would definitely consider Colorado more west, yeah. yeah. Hmm. There must be something important up in the mountains. Boulder. And there's, like, military bases there. Yeah, right. some I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking that there's like some religious hideaways in the mountains of Boulder, Colorado or something, but I don't know. Okay. All right. So what's this flag? What's the he is dark the devil. man? He is what? the devil. And these are his henchmen. What's he trying to do at this point? He's already killed turn everybody to his side yeah. to make more soldiers. Hmm. Don't know why. 1% left in the world. He just wants to turn them all evil. Yeah. Not sure why. I guess we'll have to find out, huh? Guess so. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, what should people comment on? Favorite characters so far. Yeah. Who's your favorite character they've introduced so far? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like, comment. Yeah. like comment, subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, access to polls, subs, pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Creepy to watch, Harold. It's a state park. So it's free to watch? <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for some more Stephen King's The Stand. Sweet. And do you remember what happened last time on The Stand? I do. First group made it to Colorado, yeah. Boulder City. Well, they made it to Nebraska, and then they left from Nebraska right. to Colorado. And the first evil group made it to Las Vegas. So yeah. I guess we're just going to wait to see who else. We'll probably catch up with the other groups that are still traveling yeah. on their way to Boulder City. So, uh, yeah, we got Nick, Tom, and some other people in Boulder with Mother... Uh, Abigail. Abigail. Well, what do I say? I was about to say Isabel. Abigail. And then uh, Trash Man. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure the other guy's name that was the criminal. They're in Vegas. So just got to wait for Gary Sinise and Molly Ringwald to show up, right? Yep. Well, do you think they're going to get closer to Nebraska in this episode? This well, chapter? yeah. I mean, it's just Caravan of Courage. They're definitely going to make yeah. it closer. Well, should we uh, jump in and see what happens this chapter of the stand. Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us. Yeah. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls, dubs, pig we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Those of the social media Twitter, Instagram. Follow us at You Mean the Movies if you feel like it. Yeah. Follow us on both. Let's watch the stand. Here we go. Light. Kunkel, Ohio, July 17th. Picked up some friends along the way. Wow. He's got appendicitis or something. Can you see it, East Texas? It's his appendix right there. Nailed it. Stu. Stu. He's already gone. He's dead, Stu. That is unfortunate. Survive a deadly flu apocalypse and then die because you got appendicitis. A month later. That sucks. We got some new characters here that we never saw them run into. I think it's some of the stuff that they cut out from the books in between sure. chapters, yeah. right? New characters, but not really that important to their origin. Yeah. Uh, you already told the nerdy guy that you wouldn't... Oh, it's too late. No wonder he's pissed, huh? Uh, well, have you seen his jacket? Good morning, Mr. Love. Where the Economy, hell is Indiana. Two days asleep. later. 
The judge and I thought we'd take a little ride into town and go CB shopping. Want to come? I'll pass. CB shopping? CB radio. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> I thought you said CD. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine the days when there was actually still like a radio shack? Yeah. <laughs> Be screwed now. It was by far the worst one yet. There were all these crosses on Highway 15. Made out of barn beams and telephone poles, right? With people hanging off. You too? Yeah. And Dana and Glenn. And... It's a pleasant thought. I think she and the first bunch have uh, finally made it to Boulder. Oh, I know they have. Oh, it's just Boulder, not Boulder City. Why do I keep calling it Boulder City? Idiot. They will repopulate this world. Some sleeping pills in this little traveling pharmacy. You want me to ask them to give me one? I can't. Why not? I'm afraid it'll hurt the baby. Oh, they, uh, they already started repopulating, eh? That was... It's only the middle of July. Did you know by then? Maybe her boobs are really bad. That's gonna piss him off so bad. He's gonna try and, like, kill somebody, right? What do you do? January. Didn't this all start in J June? Is it not his? If this all started in June, that's only seven months. Yeah, I'm confused now. I'm really confused. Is it Harold's? <laughs> no, she didn't have sex with Harold. Did she get knocked out before this all started? Even if it started in May, eight months. But they didn't meet each, each other until June. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that bad, bad timelines. He's going to turn bad. They must be kissing really loud. <laughs> That's what he's hearing. Good one. Going at it again. Hey, at least his acne's cleared up. It's creepy to watch, Harold. It's a state park. So it's free to watch? <laughs> Fran thought you might be a little jealous, angry. Something like that, yeah. Well, jealous, yeah. Angry. It's life. It's got a bit of a rat tail going. <laughs> I love you, Franny. Thank you, Harold. <laughs> you uh, need any help with that? No, everything's under control. Sure now. He's probably rigged his motorcycle to blow or something. <laughs> Yeah, he's not mad at all. Well, they've, they've collected quite the gang of... They're cleaning up the town. Of, uh, of evil people, huh? Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! He's still severely sunburnt. Youch. It's good makeup. Looks really gross. How are you feeling, man? Well, the Rat Kings made it. Am I going somewhere? Yeah, Flag wants to see you. <laughs> My life for him! Dude's crazy. A little bit, yeah. Like we're not. Good point. Anybody calls himself the Rat Man's got to be crazy, right? He's going fishing. How good it is to see you. God, that mullet. It's a piece of art.
He loves fire. Another black stone. Lloyd's got one, now he does. I, I love you. I know. I know you do. He's intense. <laughs> I mean the trash can man, he's he's intense. Boulder! If he's in the desert though, he might wanna uh, put some sunscreen on this no, time. Oh shit. Yeah. They made it. I dig his bolo tie. Yeah, I got one kind of just like that. You're all welcome here. Now come on in, let us visit. Uh oh, where'd Bolo go? Harold ran off. Well, come on in. Now, I, I made some lemonade. Is it warm lemonade? Definitely. You were having a bad dream. Must have been a real wowser by the sound. Was it about him? That's Stephen King. Oh, oh he's just so young. Dark man or just a regular raven? Dark man. Has he ever been in any of his other stuff? Um, I think he has cameos in some of his stuff. Hmm. If you look close enough. Now that you know his face, though. I know what Stephen King looks like. It's just he's really young there. Yeah. All the time flies when you're having fun, right, these sticks? Big day today. How so? Did Harold ever come back? Our station trying to recreate the world that damn near choked the human race to death. What's wrong with this picture? I think I'm with him. Simpler life is fine. Yeah. I think we Still might all be better if we didn't have candlelight. Candlelight. Yeah. She likes remote control lawnmowers, though. Well, take a look at that. I'm gonna dig your man made it. Garbage man's coming too. You're all welcome here. Not Come her on. though. Not Naomi. So her name is Naomi. Nadine. Nadine, huh? Go to her. No. You look so tired. Of course. Anyone your age is bound to tire easily, isn't that so? What have you? She says no, Nadine. She wasn't in her dreams. Hello, Nadine. Parking up the wrong tree. I said I have my reasons. I said I didn't want to answer any questions, and I still don't, so just leave me alone. She Stay already got so a red, sleep with him. She's already got a red scarf. Oh, geez. Her reason in her letter was she, if she stayed, she'd sleep with him. She can't have that. It's because her mister can't have that. Okay, sweetheart. Let's let him up. <sighs> it's all well and good until you run out of fuel. And then what? You know, there's no oil refineries anymore. Everybody gets a complimentary CD from Larry. Good one. Are they taking a train or touring the station? Oh, they're meeting for her to... Town hall. Yeah. Lights back on. The first thing they do is print off pamphlets. <laughs> Guess we're all gonna have to get used to this again, huh? <laughs> I wonder if maybe we couldn't start by singing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's Oh, are we? Yeah, I know. Well, now where, I feel like it, I should where's our, be. Where's our flag? It's not in the room. <laughs> He's feeling his chest as he sings. Play ball.
A Dicry drink? No. Oh. I was just thirsty. Thought maybe the Star Spangled Banner. It would... usually does bring tears to my eyes, yeah. First, though, I'd like you to meet the folks you'll be voting on. I'm one of them. Next is uh, Nick Andros, originally from Ridley, Pennsylvania. Brad Kitchener's good friend, Susan Stern from Tacoma, Washington. Good friend. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Yeah, Harold. We accept Mother Abigail's free zone committee, if they'll all serve, that is. That is. Free. Utterly free. Well, I don't think Glenn was wanting to be on the committee. <laughs> can we do that? <laughs> You're damn right you can. And I, for one, think it's a damn good idea. A voice vote will do just fine. I'm still following Robert's rules of order. The committee is so adopted. <laughs> Government. What's Mother Abigail up to? She's running down the street. Mother Abigail! She's gone! Where'd she go? Her job there is finished. Her job was to bring them here and help them restart society, society right? Our friend in the cowboy boots and jean jacket isn't going to just sit over there on his side of the Rockies. No way. Let's talk about Flag. How do we look into his part of the world? Who do they send for a spy? Larry, you think? I have to talk to you, Larry. Yeah. Come on inside. No, no. Is she the woman that came out of New York with you? Yeah, go inside, baby. Dude, blink, right? Like, it's creepy. Maybe I came to say I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. She's a spy. What does he see in her? She's crazy. I made a mistake when I left you. I know that now. Don't do it. Make love to me and I can stay here. Gross. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe he can, uh... Break the spell by sleeping with her? <laughs> I don't think so. I think they'll just piss off her boyfriend even more. Flag won't want him if she's... Tainted goods. Nadine! She's gonna have to dig another man. Uh, your wife's still gonna be real pissed. You don't make eye contact like that with another woman. Ever. Not when you're married. Not when you're in a relationship with somebody else. That was like deep, intense eye contact. Totally inappropriate. I love you, Lucy. I like Lucy better anyways. Well, yeah, she's way better. Oh, God, even the red door, red light behind. It's the house number 666, too. And that looks like number 30. Can't you read? <laughs> I thought that was just the stair number. <gasps> Did Harold do that, or is that a sign from the Dark Man? Yeah, she, to she get to Harold. recruit Harold. Now, go to Harold. Mm -hmm. and remember who you really belong to. I thought maybe Harold stopped by to claim her. By writing his name all over the walls. <laughs> He's kind of weird. You're the perfect American male, Stu. We get the power back and you decide to barbecue. Yeah. You don't need the power to barbecue. You just need propane. That's what she's saying is we got power back uh. and then you go back to barbecuing where we don't need that. Anybody want to kick it around a little bit? Oh. Barbecued some ham sandwiches. Looks like it. I can't believe we're doing this. Hey, if you didn't want to get your hands dirty, you should have stayed off the committee in the first place. We're probably sending people off to get killed. Yeah. Making decisions like that is what being in charge is all about. Either grow up and do it or get out. I'll simmer down. Well, 
Nick here's got an idea. Tom? Not kissing Tom. He's too sweet. He would never suspect them to send Tom, though. Tom won't last two minutes with those creatures. Yes, Tom's asleep. Rock of our baby. M O O N, that spells sleep. We need you to do something, Tom. Let's put the free zone. It's dangerous. It's him, isn't it? But he's afraid of him. Come back when the moon is full. Walk at night, sleep in the day. Don't let anybody see me. How's this gonna go? I don't know, but I don't like it. I do all right. I stand on my head like before. <laughs> They've been hypnotizing him for a while, huh? Mm -hmm. Last time he just stood on his head. <laughs> Plug your nose. Should put their mask on before they walked in. Harold's like, I'm fine. Smell doesn't bother me. Now he's gonna puke. <laughs> Put your mask on, dude. Then he'll puke in his mask. Garbage truck came in handy, I guess. Meeting's waiting naked for him. I think so. Okay, maybe not naked. Come on in. It is your house after all, isn't it? He's already wearing red. A red napkin. Red walls. Red wine. They're really leaning into this, the red theme for the, the darkness. Not red apples, though. The supermarket is full of deer. Did you know that? Now that the produce is gone, they're sticking mainly to the cereal section. <laughs> oh, literal deer. <laughs> Thought maybe they were hunting and it's not <laughs> yeah. the butcher shop with venison. To friendship. Does that mean he's going to get friend zoned again? I am too. And I'm going to stay that way because it's for someone else to change it. But we can still do things. Everything but that one thing, and it's such a little thing, really. How would you know? So if it's such a little thing, why are you was saving it for that one thing? Was she talking about his pickle? Is that what he was know. assuming? <laughs> so what'd they do? Use your imagination. A little this, a little that. And each of we scouts is to be ignorant of the others. You're gonna take different roads? It's the woman, isn't it? You loved her. But that didn't stop Redmond, did it, Harold? Well, she was mine. And the committee. Was she? Was she yours? Who will never take what's yours, Harold? And he's waiting for us. What's he want Harold for? She got a motorcycle he needs fixed or something. She dropped it. Sleeping pills? Knock him out and take him away? Maybe she just wants to get him drunk. August. End of August. Well, they're giving him a bike. Said to take good care of it, and give it back to him when I come home. God, I hope he makes it back. Wish you were going with me, old pal. It's a bandana. It looks like it might be like a military banner, bandana or something. Don't know. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Okay, I was going to say, Nick can't reply right because he can't talk. <laughs> Relax, Miss Grossman. Okay, please call me Fran, okay. Fran. 
Stu hasn't made an honest woman out of her yet. No ring? <laughs> What's her right hand? There's her left hand right there. Maybe they don't have rings. The flu. Who says it's gone? Who knows if our babies are going to be immune? You'll pass immunities to it. Mother and father while both it's immune. While internal and while you breastfeed at least. <gasps> You're a card. Oh. Ew. That was a pretty cool practical effect. Mm hmm Great. And there's dynamite in the city storage shed. Tons of it. He told me. He showed me. A surprise. A big, loud one. It's gonna sabotage. You look so tasty. So juicy. Juicy? I know what I'm going to say to you next time. Please don't <laughs> call me juicy. Indian Springs Air Force Base, September 7th. All runways clear? That's a good morning's work. Oh, he's got a job. Working for the airplanes that he told him to watch out for. M-O-O-N. That's Bill's toolkit. <laughs> Is that where you want the cooler to be? Probably not. <laughs> we want you to look at the airfields, see if people are getting planes ready to fly. <gasps> I told you to put the toolbox. I just heard something. I don't want to hear your retarded excuses. Now get the hell out of here. Nobody suspects a thing. He's all right. We're still cleaning up. I it's kind of crazy that they are doing that too like in my mind they wouldn't be they'd be okay like with it being trashed you know yeah. well the two spies just saw each other mm. that's what's her name Dana Harold. God damn it, Nadine. He was rocking out. I have no idea how old this stuff is. I do know that old dynamite sweats pure nitroglycerin. You could arnst yourself if no. you're not careful. If you hear a very loud bang, that will probably be me going to that great disco inferno in the sky. Oh, you're not going to the one in the sky. <sighs> Make like a library and book. And we wonder why no one wants to be his friend? He's trying to focus on his work so he doesn't blow himself up. <laughs> <laughs> Third prize. National Scholar Competition. Somebody made a bomb for a National Scholar? The Betrayal. Is that a bomb? bomb. Mm -hmm. Trying to take out the leaders? Yep. Whose pink scooter is that? Is that Fran's? I don't know. Keep I seeing like it, it around. Though. We're damned. Yes. I know. What's the timer set for? Oh, they're having a meeting there tonight. Larry. Okay, order. Who are these other guys? Yeah, there's additional people at the committee meeting tonight. Night knitting at the park. Mother Abigail. Oh no. She's looking rough. She's come back. Don't overwhelm her. She is to die. She got beat up. Take her to the hospital. Oh, it's got a remote on it. Listen, we have to get 
out of here right now. This is Harold Louder. I do this of my own free will. Nick, he can't hear it. <gasps> no, not Nick. In a, back in Nebraska or what? It's Stuart who must lead now that Nick's gone. Leave. No, not Nick. Stuart, Ralph, Larry, and Glenn. You by No, Stuart's not going anywhere. Neither one of us is gonna have any more to do with your killer god. The devil's imp has called his bride to put her with child. Will he let your child live, little girl? It's time. To make your stand. So Nick's really Nick's dead. Nick's dead. Ugh, it sucks so bad. Who else died? Chad Norris. Al Mundell. The other randos that were there that weren't part of the committee. Susan Stern. Oh, Susan died too. But to go this very day in the clothes you now wear. You ought to go on foot. One will fall by the way, but I don't know which it will be. So biblical. This is what God wants of you. Be true. Stand. I have to do it. She died to tell you that. Take care of yourself. I love you. I wonder if she's with the child now, too. That's why. Guitar pick. All right, Kojak. Come on, boy. Time to go. Is Kojak going, too? God needs his help, too. Bring no food or water. But you can bring your guitar and your dog. <laughs> Just take some of that hay. Want to feed the cows along the way? Well, you eat it. Wouldn't taste good, but... Don't feel like your body could sustain enough that. Uh-oh. <gasps> All right. And so this is... All gonna wrap up in one more episode. Yeah, we got an hour and a half left. Really? Hmm. What are they gonna do? Head on to Vegas, I guess. They're gonna stop a uh, flag. You're gonna have to try. Yeah. One of them's supposed to die on the trip. Mm -hmm. Who do you think it is? Uh, I'm hopeful not Stu yeah. or uh, what's his name? Larry. Larry, thank you. Yeah. What's his, what's you his like song? Yama be your man or whatever. <laughs> dig your man. Dig your man. <laughs> you dig him now? I mean, I like that he has, he had, he's made his own family, you know? Yeah. Yeah. A good woman will really turn anything around. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, it looks like Nick's dead, though. That I sucks. know. It's so sad. And oh my gosh. Tom? Yes, he's going to miss him so much. Like, he's going to be so sad yeah. when he gets back. We sent him away on a deadly spy mission, and, yeah. and he died. died. <sighs> do you think Tom's going to be successful, or do you think he's going to meet up with the three that make it to Vegas, probably? I think Tom's going to follow through with his mission. Yeah? Mm hmm So they showed, I, I don't, can't remember her name, the girl spy that went. Dana. Is it Dana? They, yeah. so they ran into each other, so I'm wondering if they're going to team up or something, what's going to happen there. They're not supposed to. Yeah. But they're they're aware of each other, so that's well. I'm not sure how much Tom right, recognizes, but she knows? does. So she could get captured and spill the beans about him, though. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. There's yeah. an hour and a half left. I don't know that it yeah. matters. Well, just trying to think about how how do you think this is gonna all wrap up? I, for some reason, don't think Dana's gonna be like the 
deciding factor in well, this story. <laughs> I don't she think she's going to come to matter at all. Oh, okay. So what else is on your mind after this? Just can't believe they're going to be able to finish this in an yeah. hour and a half, but I guess we'll see. They have been cutting out lots of fast forwards, right? Because we mm. went through like three or four months in this episode alone. Yeah. Right? The first two episodes were kind of all mainly June, like the first month. And this has been like the last four. Mm-hmm. So wonder how fast, how much we're going to fast forward when we start the next episode. Yeah, right? probably Do you think they're not. already going to be in Vegas and somebody's already have died on the road or something? I don't know. Probably won't be fast forwarding much, I can't imagine. Yeah. Well, what should people comment on? Did Nick's death break your heart? Yeah, super sad. Yeah. Which was the most heartbreaking death, though, Nick or Mother Abigail? For me, Nick. Yeah. Mother Abigail, you kind of felt like she was... She's gonna, 106. Like, yeah. she was going to go sometime. Her purpose was probably... She, yeah, she hers was to then, collect those people in yeah, one location. So, yeah, yeah, Nick. Well, maybe he's, like, a dream warrior now or something, right? I'll talk to him in the dreams. Oh, boy. Could be. Sure. Maybe Whatever he turns into think. some other kind of bird. I don't know. Like, but comment, subscribe. Said to see Rob Logo. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for hanging out. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. He's so romantic. He brought a comforter and toilet paper. Yeah, what's that toilet <laughs> paper for? He knows just to a woman's heart. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for the final chapter of Stephen King's The Stand. Oh, boy. And uh, how are you liking it so far? I like it. I don't know how they're going to finish it all up in one episode, but... Yeah, I think there's a lot to go over. Well, I just feel like there's more to this world that I could learn about. Yeah, I could stand to learn more. You could stand to learn I more about stand the stand. to learn more about the stand, Well, yeah. maybe you just need to read the audio or get the audio book after we're done watching yeah, it. maybe I just need to do that. Because this is like a thousand, twelve hundred page book. I definitely need to read the book then. Yeah. Listen. It's one of his fan favorites, too. So, yeah, what's going on last time we watched uh, they sent three of them. Four. Four of them to be spies. Oh, three, three spies. Three to be spies. And then they sent the four, basically, leaders. Yeah. Four of the leaders to make the do stand. Something. Yeah. Right. Make a final stand right. against Stu, something. Stu, Larry, Glenn, and. And we know that only three of them will come back. One die. will definitely die. She, yeah, that's what she uh, told them. Mother Abigail said, right? Mm-hmm. One will die on the road. Yeah. And she died, too. Yeah. So. so did Nick. Yes, so did Nick. He got blown up, dang it. And Tom is one of the spies. Mm-hmm. So, what's your predictions? I have none. Well, should we jump in and see what, how it all wraps up? For sure. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for the final episode of The Stand. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, access to polls, double pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram. Follow us at Yumi the Movies if you feel like it. Yeah, check it out. Let's watch the final episode of The Stand. Let's do it. This chapter is called The Stand. Annabella, Utah, September 10th. Oh, yeah. He's gone to the dark side. Oh, it's her pink scooter. Sweet scooter, dude. She's on the wrong side of the road. I don't think they're worried about meeting many people. Yeah. I thought he wanted to use him. Trying to kill him? I think he was done with him. 
Did he just get bit by a snake or something? No, I think he just sensed Harold dying. Oh. It's not me. I think it's Harold. I think a lot of these fires have the shine. I think that might be how they survived. It could this be. Plague. You can't just leave me! What was the point of, like, seducing him to bring him to the dark side just to kill him? Because he blew up the, the oh. house. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah. I think it's more than that. Lady! Peace out, Harold. And that's why you don't stick... Targahee Pass, I Idaho. Know. Doing in Idaho. On the roundabout way to Nevada from Colorado? Oh, oh he's remember he was going yeah. up through Wyoming. He hasn't even gotten there yet? Or is he done and he's headed back? He's got Colorado plates. Yeah, that's where he got the car from. I know, but if he rolls into Reno with Colorado plates, even if he went through Wyoming, does he think. Oh, God. Ooh. Trying to needles? Jan. Is that Sam Raimi? And remember what I told you. Don't mark him. Right. I mean copy. That is Sam Raimi. Don't know who that is. Director of the Evil Dead, Spider-Man trilogy. Okay. That's a girl. Yeah. yeah. She's being a really good spy. Yep. I might need a sleeping pill. Is that code for a punch in the face? <laughs> Copperfield, Idaho, eh? Pull up a chair and stay a while. That was him! Come on, he's getting away! So they're ready for him, huh? How do they know what, who they're looking for? Okay, here we go. I don't know if I like Judge's odds here. No. You wouldn't shoot an unarmed man now, would you, old timer? Were you back at Copperfield? Yep, we uh, we seen you go by. Dave Roberts. Oh God, you bastard! Got him dead on, Dave. Oh, Oopsie. Friendly fire. Dang it, Judge. I was hoping he'd judge dread him, but. I am the law. <laughs> What does that mean? Maybe he hit him in the face. Yeah, copy. It's time to take their number two. You know who it is? I've known all along, actually. Wake up! <laughs> Crazy lady made it to Vegas. You do know that I faked it every time, <laughs> Lloyd. Burn. What's Bernard doing here? Rose Every, is, everyone needs a dentist. Rose is not going to be happy about this. <laughs> I wasn't over here risking my life and sleeping with you, Lloyd, for fun. What is it that you think that they're doing out there at Indian Springs? Indian Springs? That's the airport, I think. I'm just gonna Assassin's Creed these guys, huh? He flies fast. What happened to the chairs? Oh, I haven't taken out. <laughs> Liars sit in chairs, you know? <laughs> All I can see is the moon. M O O N. That spells moon. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. 
I told you she was going to give him up. Why don't you know already? I don't know. <gasps> Tell me, you bitch! Tell me! Hey! <sighs> He's a demon. You can't kill him. Ooh. Before I throw at you, your bad to tell me. Ooh. He looks rough. It's, pupils are interesting. Good on you, girl. Take it in your own hands, that's right. Never! She was a good spy. Yeah, she was. She knew her mission. Never get caught. Never squeal. Come back when the moon is full. When the moon is full. Get moving. Watch out, would you? Oh, no. Pedal fast, Tom. Shit. Of course, he had to run right into her. Yeah, I'm sorry. What is it, Stu? Well, Harold's dead. <laughs> <coughs> mm, out of gas. Just gonna leave your Louis Vuitton bag laying there. She's gotta have better travel attire than that, all right? Hey, Crash! I've been looking for you everywhere. Wait just one damn minute! Oh my God, no! You know, put a crazy guy in charge of the bombs, right? She's gonna walk through the desert for 55 miles? I'm just gonna hunker down in a cave. Or next to a cave. This is where she started with him in her dream, right? Sweet. He's so romantic. He brought a comforter and toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, what's that toilet yes. paper for? It you knows just to a woman's heart. Don't worry, baby. I brought toilet paper. No. Oh, jeez. Put his horny head on for this, huh? Oh, it was like all romantic and then not at all, really mm. quickly. God, no! Demon spawn. Great. Can you dig your man? He's a righteous man. What a dick. <laughs> Picked the wrong man. She wanted us cleaned out. Empty to be filled up again by some new thing. Maybe a great thing. And almost certainly the last thing. Welcome to Las Vegas, man. She's like Daenerys Targaryen now. <laughs> she scratched her with one of his horns. The mother of demons, you're thinking? Yeah. Tell me, baby, can you dig your man? He's peeing. He's being way too free with his 
movements here. I thought he was like just. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Oh, no, no, no. Shake hands, kids. I think she's regretting her decision now. What about that skinny little bat faced girl downstairs? What's her itch? Well, she thinks she spotted their third spy night before last. Says she saw him in Kansas in the company of a young deaf mute male. I don't know, but this deaf mute sure sounds like the one in their com What? Maybe I should. I tried to tell you, cut me off. Ow. Housekeeping. If Lloyd's seen him like this. Gonna need to clean up at the penthouse. This guy, the girl with the big hair, thinks she saw. Send out a hundred men. Put Russ Door in charge. Maybe they'll get lucky and stumble across him. What about trash? What do you want me to do about him? He said, kill him. Nicely. Some of the folks are a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried myself. She's going to throw herself off that balcony. I think so. Do it fast, Nadine. Do it fast. The old woman sent them before she died. Get your ass back in here. Girl, throw yourself off that balcony. They're saying Judge Ferris got away from your man in Idaho. The well, judge must have been running away. Mm. That's why they knew about him. Your seed is cold. Mm. You lie! Oh, bummer. Splat. Next time, maybe it'd be nice to her. <sighs> So you gotta go blow up all the nukes. The fire. The big fire. Kind of solve all their problems, huh? No. Yeah. Well, that many oh, nuclear bombs, I feel like, uh, would cause an issue in Colorado too. Oh, well, maybe, maybe that's how this whole story ends, huh? The whole world is destroyed by. <laughs> This guy blowing up all the bombs. Well, he's got one. Where's he taking it? <laughs> oh, yeah, big old splat. Huh? Here lies Nadine. Nothing more than a puddle. Cut loose where? South America. Near Rio. Jenny's been there and she says it's nice. Fresh water, fresh fruit, ocean air, and just plain folks. And a giant Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right? That's kind of fitting, right? Christ the Redeemer. <clears throat> you know, I thought there'd be whores. I haven't seen any whores. Go to Vegas and there's no whores? Careful, Tom. Just a deer, they're all over. Billy, toss me another one. I gotta sit down here. Yeah, that was a close one. Talk about a caravan of courage. <laughs> now, what do you think, Kojai? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting like a landmine or something. <laughs> She's like out, Kojak. <laughs> you gotta get up the other side now.
Told you. Piece of cake. Still. Oh my god. Oh no. Compound, compound fracture? Mm -hmm. uh, Lieutenant Dan lost his leg again. I'm okay. Go ahead. Good luck getting back up that hill with that leg, though. <laughs> Tell me Glenn made it up and then it came back down with some beers. <laughs> Mother Abigail said one of us would fall by the way. What does that mean? You're a college professor, for God's sakes. In case you hadn't noticed, Larry, school is out. Look, I thought he was your friend! He's not dead. He's just gonna leave him. He it's just okay. literally fell. Yeah. <laughs> it's his business. Yours is to go against Flag. Now, you got to do that. You got to go without me. You got some Cheez Its. You got him a cooler of beverages and some Cheez Its. He's good. He'll be good. Leaving Kojak with him? Kojak, come on, boy. Come on, boy. All things serve the will of God. Maybe that goes for big dumb dogs, too. Take good care of him, East Texas. I always eat him when he runs out of food, too. He's not expecting Stu to be the one that fell. <laughs> I thought it'd be Ralph or Glenn. Dogs are like the best animals ever, right? Yeah. So loyal. My high school science teacher went hunting with his dogs one day and fell to his death. And um, his dog stayed with him for three days until they found his body. Yeah. Such a good dog. Has <laughs> Kojak been hunting for him? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna die of the flu after all. Huh? Probably infection <laughs> leg. Yeah. <laughs> so, here it is. Uh oh. No evil. What was the point of this again? They gotta make their stand. That's what Abigail said. I don't even know what that means, though. Just say, hey, we're here. We believe in God. Black wants him taken alive. This flag's lawyer. All right, by virtue of the power vested in me, smart ass, you're under arrest. In whose name? You know who I speak for. And why don't you say it? I wonder if you men might give me your social security numbers. <laughs> What's that matter? <coughs> you steal their identity? Doesn't justify your embrace of a monster. It's almost over for them now, Larry. Can you feel it? I can feel it. What's their message for Flag? I don't know. I have an idea that I'll be gone come this time tomorrow. But you'll still be trucking, won't you? Run in your little road, Sharon. Or not. I could fix that. Would you like me to? No more swollen, screaming joints for the rest of your life? All you have to do is ask. What a deal. It's not so bad, really. Pain reminds you, you're alive. <laughs> Only for a favor of this magnitude, I really think you ought to do it on your knees. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. I'll stay. <laughs> and it turns out you're nothing more than another cockroach scurrying around, running little roach errands. <laughs> Glenn's really getting to him. Really feel you must shoot somebody, Mr. Henry. I suggest Flag. His world is crumbling, and we both know it. I think we also both know he can do a lot of damage on his way down. I feel like shooting him is not gonna matter, though. You can't kill a demon with a bullet. 
Can you? Bad choice. It's all right, Mr. Henry. You don't know any better. Shut up, you mouthy old bastard! Glenn's uh, breaking him up with his spirit there. Yeah. Can't mother. Can't mother. Wake up! I can't. I can't. You can do it, Stu. Pale horse, pale rider. Who's the pale horse, pale rider? Is it trash can man? You think? Don't know. He's got that bomb on the back of his four wheeler driving around. <laughs> I got, I got Stu's cough. <laughs> Stu, take my hand. M O O N. Spells Tom. I had a feeling Tom would find him. I was way east to here, and Nick told me I had to double back. He can talk in my dreams, Stu. Isn't that the limit? <laughs> Good truck. What is that? You gonna see? So enough. Public hanging. Oh, jeez. Firing squad. <laughs> Everybody in Vegas has guns. Disco is dead. They use the guitar a lot in disco. <coughs> I don't think at all. I don't think he used the guitar at all in disco. I don't know. She's weird. Public crucifixion? Some biblical sh Tell me something cheap. They teach you this one at Santa Monica PD? Huh? What's Flag gonna do with them? Make a spectacle of them. I don't know, light them on fire? I. Hi, Randall Flagg. Do you hereby state that Why don't you tell him your real name? What's his real name? <laughs> For these crimes, they are sentenced to death by dismemberment. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Hopefully they go with the head first. Arms and legs, so they can stay alive a little longer. Mm. I'm just going to pull them apart. Hey! Hey, you people! This ain't how Americans act! We gotta stop this! We gotta stop oh, you're this. next. God. Oh, is he gonna blow everybody up in Vegas? He really needs to learn to get some sunscreen. He's got a bomb! <laughs> <coughs> oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> she tripped over the wrong guy. I can't see very well. My eyes are all funny. It's me, Trashy. What do you have there? Big one. She looks so gross. What's going on here? The promise has been kept as God has willed it. Oh. Mother Abigail's like, mm, I'll take this and put it right on your bomb. You've done good, boys. Come on. I hope they're out of range. <laughs> it's the end of Las Vegas, Tommy. And the 
in the Randall flag. What about Glenn and Larry? What about Ralph? At the end of them, too. Just a little help. Okay, let's give it a try. It's a Chevy citation. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay, hop in. Come on. Okay. 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 <laughs> Maybe not a citation, but definitely a Chevy of some kind. I think it's a citation. Yeah. I mean, the guy the guard was, or the car the guard was driving at the beginning was a citation it too. Wasn't starts it? with a citation, ends, ends with, with one. a citation. There you go. Stu said you were dead. Stu's very sick, you know. I tried to feed him like my mama used to, but he wouldn't eat. It's all right. I know what to do. I'm dreaming right now or something. We're just having a moment. <coughs> Cut him some antibiotics. Oh, it's been like a month. Uh, bummer. Been there for a while. He's gonna walk out. Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. Taking some equipment with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Snowcat. Might be handy in the winter months in Colorado, huh? Yeah. Oh, she's. I guess that's what they figure. I just needed to get home. <laughs> hey, Teddy. <laughs> Tom, hey, <coming>. Bobby. <laughs> Man, I don't believe it. What happened to your legs, Stu? Uh, I broke it. Never mind, never mind. We're frozen. Let's get in the truck. Then I want you to take me home to see Franny. Uh oh. It's the baby. It's come early, and it's got the flu. Is it the bad flu or the regular flu? Guess we'll see. I can't help thinking, what did we all do this for? Why? Oh yeah, it wasn't uh, his baby. It was her boyfriend from college. Who was the father? That's why we're wondering what the date. Explains the timeline a little bit, I guess. Yeah. People commented on that. Mm. I think the baby's gonna live. Oh. oh, they are ready for more babies. Holy moly. <laughs> Abigail. Oh. Goldsmith. Oh, that was Fran's last name. But when both parents are immune. We'll see the last of Captain Trips. <clears throat> the doctor saying if two immune people have a baby, so they be should in... be fine. Okay. You're, you're pregnant. Yeah. I knew Larry got to work. He's gone, but I'll have his baby. Maybe. I hope it's a boy. You name him Larry. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Abigail and Larry. There you go. First couple of the new world. Cute little baby. The end. Wow. And the new world begins. Yes, it does. Vegas is gone. Slicky, clean slate. Yeah. So what do you think? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. I imagine the book is a even, lot better. Even better? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was good, though. Yeah. I mean, you do what you can with a really yeah. long book, you know. Yeah, get as much of the, you know, meat and potatoes as you can get. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, uh, I did not expect it to end that way with Trash Can Man blowing up everybody. Right? I did only because... He drove to the nuclear plant <laughs> like yeah. after he'd already. Oh, after it. he got it, yeah, I was after he did that. I was like, I well, apparently that's how it's going to end. Yeah. He's going to take care of things. But before that happened, I was like, I thought there would be a fight between Larry. And yeah, him. yeah, I didn't know how it's going to go yeah. either. Well, all those uh, nasty people at Vegas are gone. Oh yeah, those heathens. Yeah, <laughs> but it's funny is like they were so strict on their authority that there was no drugs 
or horrors. I know. Or it's like the opposite of actually what you'd expect to be going on in Vegas. Yeah, exactly. Because well, kind of, of the opposite. The security of the, guy. Yeah, really interesting. Interesting yeah. how they yeah. did that. More freedoms in Boulder. I guess. Right. Who was your favorite character after it's all said and done? Tom. Tom? Yeah. Yeah. M O N. Yeah. So spells Moon. Just kind hearted fella. Yeah. Who was his friend? Nick. Nick, yeah. Tom and Nick were my Tom favorites. Tom and Nick were your favorite? Yeah. yeah. Mine too. Best duo. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Stu there. I I had this feeling that Tom was going to come back and somehow find him. So Yeah. That was kind of Tom's, like, his whole point was he didn't really do much as a spy, but his mission back was... Yeah, he, to save his, him. To you know, save Stu. goal or point in life was to save Stu and bring him home. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I was kind of hoping Larry and Ralph would have somehow gone. I know. I wish not all of them would have had to die. They uh, faced their death. They fulfilled their role. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, were, they knew what they were doing, so they knew what they went there for. Yeah. The spectacle of their attempted, you know, martyrdom was uh, to get everybody in town into one spot, and then yeah, it was kind of funny how Trash Game Man was saying, "My life for yours." Mm-hmm. And the whole time, my life he, for you, my life for you. He was talking. You thought he was talking to the to Randall Flag, yeah. But I think he was actually talking to God, because at the very end, yes, he was I looking think so. Up. Yeah, he was looking at the yeah. hand of God. He was there. looking mm-hmm. at the heavens, and then boom, the hand of God came down and blew up the bomb. So, like it was that was his role the whole time. Was yeah, to... just because he was working with the bad guys, he didn't think that's who he was actually yeah. saying it to. So. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, which people comment on um, after this finale? Favorite characters. Yeah. And should I read the book? Yeah. Her way of reading is the audio book. Right, but, uh, right. So should, should I listen to the book? She should probably just start downloading. You probably need to read Dr. Sleep and The Shining and all those other ones you've been liking from Stephen King, too. Right? Maybe. There's also been some comments saying that uh, Randall Flagg is another character in other Stephen King books. Oh, really? Because so, all of his stuff kind of connects. Hmm. If you look at his Dark Tower series, which is his, like seven book i think epic hmm. series that kind of connects all of his books to the same universe interesting yeah so one day they're, they've got to make that into an awesome miniseries they made a movie a couple years ago but it wasn't that that good so let us know who your favorite character mm-hmm. in the stand was and if she should read the audiobook right yeah or have somebody read the book to her by audiobook right and also the 2020 stand should we ever check that out I've heard now. People are saying this this one's way better. So yeah, yeah. Also like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, and check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full commentaries, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.